Hey everyone, this is Nick over at Nick's Tennis Shop located in Buffalo, New York. And today we're gonna review the Rhombus EV1, a new concept paddle released by Rhombus. It's really exciting news to the pickleball world. We already know about the Diadem Vice, a really popular concept paddle that was released a couple months ago. And now today we have the Rhombus EV1. So Rhombus is a new pickleball company. They were founded in 2022. They already have three pedals on the market that are USAP approved for tournament play. They have the R1, the R2, and the R3. All great playing paddles. We'll have a review on them coming up in the next couple of weeks. I have a couple of them here. We have the R3, which is similar to the Carbon 1 paddle. Then we have the R2. And there's also a R1, which is my favorite. The R1 is closest to the Ben Johns uh, Hyperion CFS. So all great paddles. They start at $120, so if you're looking for a budget-friendly paddle company, definitely check out Rhombus Pickleball. Today, we are here for the EV1, okay? This is their new concept paddle. It's available today, so you can go pick one up yourself at uh, Rhombus Pickleball or Nick's Tennis Shop. Paddle here is what started Rhombus Pickleball. The owner of Rhombus wanted to create a company that was gonna be part of the future of pickleball, and one of his original goals was to create an EVA foam filled paddle. So here we are with the EV1. It's a pretty good looking paddle. Uh, we'll review the specs here. It comes in at eight ounces. It's 16 millimeters, has a 5.3 inch grip, and it's a one piece construction, okay? So it's gonna feel really good. It's gonna hold up, it's gonna be durable. You don't have to worry about that gap in the middle with the, the sandwich grip because it's one piece, so it's gonna feel nice and solid. And I think he did a really good job with this pedal. So we can only compare it to the other pedal, one other pedal that's on the market, which is the Diadem Vice. And uh, if you look at the specs, they're, they're pretty similar, right? So EVA foam core is probably the biggest technology in this pedal here. And that just makes the pedal feel extremely comfortable. Like I mentioned earlier about the Vice, it's the most comfortable paddle out there on the market. If you give these two paddles to players on the court, uh, they're probably not gonna be able to tell them much difference at all, right? So we'll go over some of the differences here in this paddle compared to the Vice. So this paddle here has a 3D printed face on top of the carbon layer. So this paddle doesn't have any holes in it. So instead, Rhombus um, added a 3D printed face here it does have some dimples in here, so I think that's gonna give it uh, maybe a little more ball bite, but at the end of the day, I think we get most of the spin from the compression of the paddle, right? So because that EVA foam core is there, the paddle will compress a lot more. It will hold the ball longer on your paddle, which is gonna, in return, allow you to get more spin on the ball and control, right? So it doesn't have holes, like I said, so that's the difference here. It's just very basic, simple design, white and black. I think it's gonna attract a pretty big audience there. And you know, it's, it's great. I have to say, I've tried out this paddle for the last couple of months. I've given it out to um, other people to try out as well. And you know, we kind of have the same views that we did with the Vice, right? It's really comfortable, it's more powerful, and overall it just plays a lot better than all the paddles out there on the market. You really, you can't compare it to anything else. So Rhombus did a really good job here. Uh, spin factor is great. The one thing I did notice is I think the launch angle of the ball coming off your paddle is slightly lower with this paddle compared to the vice. So like I said, it's a minor difference, but that's the one thing I noticed. This paddle is a little quieter than the vice, but I think that's just because it doesn't have holes, right? So it doesn't have the, those holes there for the um, sound to escape, but overall it's gonna be really, really close if we put a, a meter out there. And I think this paddle here is great for pretty much anyone looking for a little more power. If you want more comfort, you should definitely take a look at these concept paddles because I have a feeling that you're gonna see a lot more in the future. There's only two out there right now. I'm sure other companies are working on these paddles and they're gonna find a way to make these paddles approved. And once that happens, these paddles are gonna be far superior than any other paddle out there on the market. So I'm excited about it. You can switch back and forth. You can go play open play with these paddles. I mean, hey, some people are gonna give you some trouble, but uh, at the end of the day, you're not playing a tournament, so there's nothing wrong with it. You can completely do it. 
just because you use a concept paddle or EVA foam filled paddle, it's not gonna make you like a superstar player. I mean, yes, you're probably gonna play a little bit better, but at the same time, you're gonna make some mistakes too, right? So it's not like you have a crazy advantage. I think the real benefit is to the end user themselves is if, hey, you have arm problems, use the EVA foam filled paddle, right? No other paddle compares to it, comfort wise. Say so if you're a senior and you need a little more power, hey, pick up one of these, right? You'll get that extra power that you need. So there's a lot of benefits to it. I know there's a lot of people that are against concept paddles right now, but like I said, Rhombus will continue to develop the EV1. This is the first variation of their paddle. Their ultimate goal here is to get the EV1 approved by the USAP for tournament play. And I think this is definitely a step in the right direction here. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a few more paddles from other manufacturers that surface in 2023. I feel like this is the way pickleball is going. Diadem already came out with the Vice. Now we have the Rhombus EV1 and both paddles are amazing, right? If you're looking for a paddle that's gonna give you extreme comfort, uh, you want some extra power, spin, control, I would definitely check out the EV1. It's a great playing paddle. If you guys live in neighborhoods that have sound restrictions, um, these EVA foam core paddles are a lot quieter, so that might be helpful in your situation. One of my favorite features of this paddle is the spin factor. With the 3D printed face here, uh, it allows you to get a lot more spin on the ball. You can get the ball to dip anywhere you want in the court at people's feet. You can hit some nice angles with this paddle here and half volleys, more of like a tennis-like shot. I don't see it too much in pickleball, but with a paddle like this, you can hit all those shots. So um, that's a nice advantage to have for like, say the four or five plus group. If you need some more put away power, um, you can definitely do that with this paddle here. Any kind of high volley or just high ground stroke, you can easily put it away with an EVA foam core paddle. So those are the benefits there, I think, for the four or five plus group. If you're looking at uh, say 2.5 to 4.0, uh, I know that's a large group there to select, but Overall, I mean, if you have decent technique, you're gonna be able to take advantage of the spin, right? If, if your technique isn't there, you can't generate a lot of spin. You're gonna naturally get a little bit more with this paddle here, but as you can see in the video, your soft game is still gonna be pretty similar. It's just gonna be a lot more comfortable. You'll have more feel hitting those dinks. And I didn't really have much of an adjustment period uh, going back and forth between these paddles here and I just pick it up, it feels great in your hand, and I just went out and played with it, right? So drops, dinking, this paddle here, it's gonna make it easier for you guys because it's so much softer. You're gonna have a lot more feel, and that's a huge benefit, right? So overall, great paddle. If you guys are interested in picking one of these up, check out rhombus.com, nickstennisshop.com. We'll have the link in the description below, but if you use code pickleballnick at either site, you can save 10% off and free shipping. Thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.